Hello, thank you for joining us here today. In this video, we're going to be looking at call flows inside the Ringba platform and how to quickly and easily create intelligent routing plans. Ringba's new Call Flows product has been built from the ground up to provide you with all the tools you need to take full advantage of our rules-based routing engine using the intuitive drag and drop interface. Whether you need to build simple or complex call flows, Ringba's new Call Flows canvas makes what used to take hours take seconds. Let's say you needed a simple IVR menu to route calls to your business's sales or support team. Or maybe you're a performance marketer routing calls to a network of buyers based on the caller's zip code and need to fire a pixel back to your click tracking platform. Or maybe you run a 500 seat bilingual contact center fielding thousands of calls every day and you need to route calls based on hours of operation and caller demographics to different call center locations while also pushing caller data into your CRM data lake. With Ringba's powerful new Call Flows Builder, your job has never been easier. Whatever use case you can dream of, Ringba can handle it with ease. Let's jump into how it works. Before you can create a call flow, you need to have a routing plan configured. On the sidebar, navigate to Call Flows, click on Routing Plans, and select Create Routing Plan. Give your routing plan a name. Then for routing type, select which method of routing you prefer. Priority routing routes to targets based on the priority and weight, while RPC routes to targets based on the target's revenue and historical performance. After you select your routing type, press Create. Now you can choose to add specific targets, groups, and trees to your routing plan. If you have chosen priority, add a target, group, or tree, and assign a priority and weight. Then select how it will be counted as a conversion. Enter a revenue amount for this target and select how you would like Ringba to handle duplicate conversions. Then press Add. To customize your call flow, Ringba has developed a node-based system to give you more control and a visual representation of how your calls move through your system. The Call Flows Canvas is where you can perfectly craft your caller experience and build powerful call flows in minutes. To begin working with the Call Flows Canvas, click and drag on an empty part of the canvas to move around to any area of your call flow. You can also make the canvas as big or as small as you want using the Minimize and Maximize buttons in the bottom right corner. Or you can change the size of the canvas by holding Control and scrolling up or down. When creating a call flow, you will start with an inbound call node. The inbound call node is the starting point for every call flow. You will need this node before you add any other connections. There are a few ways to add a new node to your call flow. You can select the node options in the header by just clicking on it once, or if you right click inside the canvas, a list of available nodes will appear. Now that you have added a node, you will need a way to connect nodes. There are two ways to connect nodes. You can connect nodes by clicking on the first node output, then dragging and dropping the connection on the second node input. Or if you hover over the mouse and then select the plus on the node output, you will be able to select the next node. To remove a connection, you can click on the X above the connection to remove that connector without deleting the node. There are many different kinds of nodes to help you develop and manage your call flow. The dial node is used to route calls to a target. The hang-up node will terminate or end the call. The menu node is used when you want to make a decision based on the key pressed. The router node gives you the ability to make decisions based on filters. The gather node gives the ability to get a numerical input from the caller. The go-to node is used when you want to go back to a certain node that is already added to the flow. The hours node is used when you want to validate and make call routing decisions based on hours of operation. The Pixel node gives you the ability to send and fire pixels based on the call flow. The Play node will play a message to the caller when added to the call flow. The Voicemail node can be used to provide the caller with a way to leave a message. The JS node allows for custom JavaScript to execute. It requires activation from the team. The Profile node is used to pull data-enriched information about your caller with Ringba's Instant Caller Profile. For this video, let's look at how to make a call flow using one of Ringba's pre-built templates. To create a call flow with a template, go to Manage Call Flows, Create Using Template. The Robocall Verification Template contains a simple menu that asks the caller to press a key in order to continue. 
Robocallers unable to complete this verification will have the call automatically terminated. In the menu node, you'll see a pre-populated text-to-speech message that asks the caller to press 1 to continue. This will help the filter spam robocallers from being routed to your targets. To finish configuring this call flow, all we need to do is go to our dial node and add a routing plan. Now that you have set your nodes for your call flow, give your call flow a name. You can either save it as a draft for further editing, or you can publish to begin utilizing your call flow immediately. Thank you for watching this Ringba tutorial. If you have any more questions concerning Ringba, paper call, or call tracking, go ahead and visit www.ringba.com to get in touch with a Ringba expert, and we'll be happy to help.